Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first Firefox update of 2025 that rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 7th of January. And the update includes a couple of new features, changes, and of course the all-important security fixes that roll out with the version upgrades. And the version has been bumped up to version 134 which is now the latest release. Now, as always, to double check, we have the update. We head to our main menu, help, about Firefox, and latest version in bold, 134.0. Now, at first, uh, just to mention the security fixes that have rolled out, we've got 11 vulnerabilities that have been patched with version 134. And out of the 11 vulnerabilities, there are three high impact which is your second highest ranked vulnerability and although there are no criticals high impact is quite important so just double check your browsers up to date so three high impact vulnerabilities addressed 11 security fixes have rolled out in total now just to focus on what's new now i'm just going to mention um, a couple of new features that have rolled out and first of all mozilla says that the browser now supports touchpad hold gestures on linux which basically means at the end of the day that kinetic, which is also momentum scrolling, can now be inter interrupted by placing two fingers on the touchpad. So if you are running Firefox on Linux, like I know a lot of you do, that would be a nice move in the right direction. And another nice move is that, that if you're running Firefox on Windows, hardware accelerated playback of HEVC video content is now supported on Windows, which I also think is another step in the right direction. And Ecosia, which is a search engine, as you may well know, is now available and has been expanded to all languages in the German region, along with Austria, Belgium, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. So if you are using that search engine, it's now available in the German region. And then in regards to HTML specification, Firefox now follows the model HTML specification for transient user activation more closely. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but basically at the end of the day, what this means is that the change makes pop-up blocking less strict in cases where previous versions of Firefox were over-aggressive, over reducing um, erroneous blocking prompts. So that's according to Mozilla. So basically at the end of the day, it's going to be less strict um, when it comes to pop-up blocking in the browser and that's just a little tweak taking place under the hood now quite a big change that's taking place if you find yourself in the us and canada is in regards to the new tab layout um, mozilla is rolling out a refreshed new tab layout to users in the united states and canada now this is not available in other regions so obviously i'm not in the us or the or the uh, or in Canada, so I'm not seeing the new change. But if we head over to Firefox Nightly, which um, is a very early preview version of the browser, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So this is this is more or less what you will see with a couple of options here to um, change the look and feel of the new tab page. So basically, at the end of the day, what this includes is it features a repositioned logo. So here we can see the logos to the left where in the stable it's centered obviously and a weather widget to prioritize web search now i've enabled the weather widget using an experimental flag in the stable version and if you don't know how to do that i'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen so over and above the new um so-called uh refreshed new tab layout you will also see a weather um widget on the new tab page and if we just head into our settings just to check this out i'm not seeing that in the nightly version normally there is a toggle so if we head back to the stable and we head to our settings yeah you can see there is a toggle I'm not seeing that in the nightly so um just take note of that if you are um, in the US and Canada, just head to your home page and there should be a weather a toggle that you can toggle on and off. So just take note of that. So that's also a weather little toggle you'll see, a widget um, to prioritize web search. 
And there's also shortcuts and recommended stories, which can be turned on and off from this menu here on the new tab page in case you're unaware. And the update includes changes to the card you are for recommended stories and allows users with larger screens to see up to four columns, making better use of space. Now, this isn't a very large screen. It's on a laptop, but you can see I've got three columns. So if you are on a large screen, you'll see four columns, which I think is a nice move. It just um, gives you a little bit more content if you are using the recommended stories um, in the browser. So that change is only rolling out to users in the US and Canada, a refreshed new tab layout. And I think that could be quite a big um, highlight for Firefox version 134. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest release. Um, over and above the, the um, security fixes, the new features and those changes, there are a couple of developer um, tweaks and adjustments that are taking place under the hood, which won't really affect and be of interest to your average home user. And in regards to new releases, we are expecting next week um, Edge, Brave, and Chrome to get their version upgrade from version 131 to 132 in those Chromium-based web browsers. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.